All right. So uh, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Essential Grammar in Use lesson. So before we get started, I would like to remind you of two things. Number one, uh, if you have not turned in any previous homeworks, they will all be in the video description. And number two, if you would like to work at home by yourself, uh, we would recommend you buy the Essential Grammar in Use book. This is just so you can catch up on anything that you miss. So today we are going to be covering lesson 17, have you ever, all right? And this is the present perfect form. So uh, quick recap. Hello, my name is Yusuf. I'm from Cairo, Egypt, but I live and study in the United States of America. I will be your teacher for this course. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we have some dialogue. We have a man and a woman. The man says, have you been to Rome? Okay. And then the woman says, yes, I have many times. Then he says, have you ever been to Japan? And she says, no, I've never been to Japan. All right. So they're just talking about if they're, uh, if the woman has gone to uh, certain countries. So we use the present perfect, for example, have been have had, have played, et cetera, things like that. Uh, when we talk about a time from the past until now, okay? So, for example, if I was saying, um, have you ever gone to this restaurant, okay? That means from, like, from when you came to where you live now until now, have you ever visited this place, Okay. So we have a little um, time stamp here. So we have like the past. This is the past, which means before. Um, and then we have it going until now, which is right now. And then the that line that you see in front of you right here is the time from the past until now. Okay. And then we just have, have you ever been to Japan? Which means from the past until now, have you ever gone? So. Have you been to France? And the answer is no, I haven't. So if somebody asks, have you been to France? What are they asking exactly? Like in, in, in other words, what are they saying? You can write the answer in the chat if you know. Yeah, did you go to France? So, like, did you go to France before? Um, or, like, have you gone there before? Okay. And then the person answers, no, I haven't. So, they haven't gone before. So, then we have, I've been to Canada, but I haven't been to the United States. Okay. So, they're here, in this example, they're saying that they have gone to Canada. They've been there. But they have not gone to the United States. Okay. So now Mary is an interesting person. She has had many different jobs and has lived in many places. So what does this mean? In, in, in different words. So this means that before now. Yeah. So before now, she has had many jobs from and before now as well, she's lived in uh, many places. So. She's, you know, she's traveling to many different places and she has had and worked in a lot of jobs. So now we have, I've seen that woman before, but I can't remember where. So I've seen that woman before. What, what is he trying to say here? That he knows, or maybe, or maybe he doesn't know, but he just he's seen her before, and he he doesn't know where. So like he he's seen this woman somewhere else, um, other than the place that he is right now. He just can't remember where. All right. So how many times has Brazil won the World Cup? All right. So that's. 
uh, the next one. So just asking before now, let's say that this year, um, I know like Argentina won, but let's say Brazil won this World Cup. Okay. Let's just say that. Okay. Until now or before now, how many times have they won? Okay. So that would be, um, that would be an example of that one. All right. So have you read this book? Yes, I've read it twice. So here we have the definition of twice. What does twice mean? Twice means two times. Good. So have you read this book? Yes, I've read it two times. So before now, before right now, or from the past until now, I've read it two times. All right. So let's go ahead and move on. So now we have the present perfect, which is what we were talking about before, plus ever. So we add ever, and we usually use ever in questions. And then never to use it in negatives. Okay. So we could have ever or never. So never is for negatives and ever is for questions. So has Anne ever been to Australia? What does that mean? Did Anne go to Australia before? And then the answer is yes, once. And once means one time. Good. So have you ever played golf? Which What does that one mean? Yeah, have you have you played it before? Have you played golf before? And then the answer is yes, I play a lot. So then we have my sister has never traveled by plane. So what does that one mean? She hasn't traveled by, by plane before. Good. So that means like throughout her entire life, she has never traveled by plane. So I've never, hit, I've never ridden a horse. Okay. So I've never ridden a horse. What would that one mean? That before now, I've never ridden a horse. Or from the past until now, I've never ridden a horse. All right. So the last one, who is that man? And the person says, I don't know. I've never seen him before. So I've never seen him before. What, is, what does that mean? Yeah, I didn't see this man in my life, in my whole entire life, until now. All right, good. So, now we're going to talk about gone and been. Okay? So, there is a difference. Okay? So, gone means he went now. Okay? Or he is, a, like, for example, here we have, where is Ben? He's on holiday. He's gone to Spain. Ben has gone to Spain, means he is in Spain now, okay? Now, for example, two weeks later, hello, Ben. Hi, I've been on holiday. I've been to Spain. Ben has been to Spain, meaning he went to Spain, but now he's back, okay? 
So Ben means that I was there before and gone means that he or she is there now. Okay. So I can't find Susan. Where has she gone? So where has she gone? What does that mean? Where is she now? Good. And then we have, oh, hello, Susan. I was looking for you. Where have you been? So what would that one be? Where were you before? Good. All right. So let's move on to the exercises. So you are asking Helen questions beginning, have you ever? Write the questions. Okay. So here we have two words in each, uh, next to each number, we have two words. We need to use two of these words, both of them, to make a sentence. So for example, this sentence has to have, have you ever? So we have, B and London. Those are the first ones. So we can do, have you ever been to London? And then Helen answers, no, never. Then we have play golf. Have you ever played golf? And she says, yes, many times. So now we have B Australia. What sentence could we make with that? Have you ever been to Australia? Good. And then she answers, yes, once. And then now you have lose your passport. So how could we answer that one? Have you ever lost your passport? Good. Now we have fly in a helicopter. How could we do that one? Yeah, have you ever flew in a helicopter? Good. Win a race. That one would be, have, have you ever won a race? All right, good. Um, now we have, be New York. What would that one be? Have you ever been to New York? Good. Drive a bus. What would that one be? This one would be, have you ever driven a bus? Yeah. So, last one, break your leg. What would that one be? Have you ever broken your leg? Good. All right. So, now we're going to write sentences about Helen herself, okay? So, be New York. You know, she said that um, she has been to New York twice. Okay. So she's, the sentence we would write is she's been to New York twice. So now I have B, Australia. What would we write for that one? She has been to Australia. All right, good. Now we have win a race. 
she said that she's never won a race. So if she's never won a race, yeah, she has never won a race. Good. Now, fly in a helicopter. Oh, that would be. She has flown in a helicopter. Good. Uh, because she said um, a few times she has flown in a helicopter. So she has. All right. Good. So now we are going to talk about you. Okay. So have you ever been to New York? Okay, I've never been to New York. Good. I have been to New York. All right, good. Okay. Play tennis. Have you ever played tennis? I have never played tennis. Okay. I have never played tennis, all right? And I have played tennis. Okay, good. Have you ever driven a lorry? Let's just replace... All right, good. I have never driven a lorry. Okay. All right, let's move on. Have you ever been late for work or school? I have been late for work or school. I have never been late for school. All right, good, 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 good. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so Mary is 65 years old. She has had an interesting life. What has she done? All right, so just think about it for a second. All right, so we, we saw a few of the things that were on there. So let's think about what Mary has done. Okay, so our first example is she has had many different jobs. So we changed have, right, into has, and then many different jobs. We put that in there, okay? So now let's use B. So what would, could we do with B? She has been married three times. Good. All right. So let me just put a little X on number two. Now let's do number three. Do. What could we do with uh, do? She has done a lot of interesting things. Good. All right. So let's cross on number three. What about write? She has written 10 books. All right, good. Okay. Number five. Let's do travel this time. She has traveled all over the world. Good. And then number six, which would be the last one. She has met a lot of interesting people. All right. Good job. All righty. Let's go ahead and move on. So, Ben is on holiday at the moment. 
he's gone to Spain. So what we're doing here is we're going to put either gone or Ben, bin, sorry, bin into the blanks. Okay. So number two, have you ever blank to Mexico? And the answer is no, never. So that would be, have you ever been to Mexico? Good. So number two is been three. My parents aren't at home at the moment. They've blank out. They've gone out. Good. Four, there is a new restaurant in town. Have you blank to it? Ben, all right, good job. Number five, Rebecca loves Paris. She's blank there many times. She's been there. This one would be been. Um, because we're saying that she was there before and not she's there now. Gone would mean that she's there right now. Been means that she's been there before. Okay? So number five would be been. Six. Helen was here earlier, but I think she's blank now. She's gone now. Good. Okay, seven. Where's Jessica? She's not in the office. I think she's blank home. Gone. Good. Eight. Hello, Sue. I was looking for you. Where have you blank? Where have you been? Good. All right. Great job. Okay. So that is all we have for today. So uh, I'd like to thank you for all of your input. You all did great. Uh, I would like to remind you that, again, if you haven't finished or submitted any homeworks, uh, please do so. And all of the homework links will be in the video description. So again, I'd like to thank you all and I will see you all next time.